Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark 2008. When we last left off, we were going through these tunnels and we were playing with electrified water. Uh, well, at least we were trying not to dip our toes into the electrified water anyway. We've got to make our way back to the hotel. Oof. To find our friend, Theo, who shot himself in the face, which... Well, I mean, if he's got some kind of party trick and coming back from that one, maybe he would have been better off in the baker's house. Let's go. Command, 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 command. Don't really want to get boiled alive with the old steam. Ooh. There is a door. A rather sturdy looking door. Now, if you see a door like that, that means we have to uh, make it go boom. Which is certainly something that we can accomplish. This cable here is draped into the water. So we're going to see if we can hook it around there. Pretty sure we're going to be able to hook it around there. Okay. We have an explosive canister. But wait. Before we worry about any of that. Let's drop that because it's kind of useless. We've got three in that one and four in that one. Let's combine these two over. So we have an empty plastic bottle. Yeah. No point really in having loads of part used bottles. Uh, we can get some tape, I suppose. There's no point in any of this shit, really. Uh, right. Let's grab this pole here. Or, you know, I mean, that will also suffice. Now, or will it? Oh, I don't think we quite have the length. We got the girth, but we don't have the length. Alright, that's fine. Let's drop you down. Try and find a long pole. Yes. Yes, this should do just fine. There we go. Now we just Ah uh, yes, that'll that'll do. It's not exactly what we wanted, but it'll do. Right, let's check the med box. Ah uh, yeah. F aid spray, always useful. Always useful, as I'm sure you can imagine. Are we actually injured? We're not actually injured. Cool. Righty tighty. Let's grab up this. Now, you would think that uh, this is just an explosive, but we can use these to bash doors in as well, which is quite easy. I spent a considerable amount of time trying to destroy the door uh, by putting this explosive box, uh, explosive can right next to it, but obviously that didn't work. Now, so we have options. We can either ram it in this way, which technically is resource free but kind of annoying or we can throw an explosive bottle at it and blow it up that way which might actually be the easiest way because although you can smash them in using these it's kind of a challenge yeah if we drop that it's just going to slide straight into the water so um we've got two medical sprays Please don't drop the medical spray. So what we'll do then... Yep. Alright. We'll just use this as a bomb to blast our way through. Definitely the easiest way of opening doors in this game. Alright, what have we got? Anything gonna go... Oh, fuck yeah. This stuff. This stuff is annoying as hell. Yeah, if we get touched by this stuff, and I lich I do mean if it touches us, we're dead. Now, one of the easiest and best ways of dealing with this stuff, if we can get this to work, ah yeah, we can get this to work. We can get this to work. We should be able to. It's by using... Oh, hello. Oh, evening. What are you doing here? Nice to meet you. Dick. Not expecting to bump into him. Uh, also, the amount of uh, material, shall we say, that's actually inside... Oh, nice. That's actually uh, inside a container denotes how much of a boom it's going to make. Which, to be fair, is quite a cool little thing. 
All right, let's go take our chair for a walk. The chair is probably the best way of doing this because the chair will burn for a very long time. Uh, this has taken a heck of a lot of trial and error, to be honest. I hate this creep stuff because quite often um, it can just go through light. It's, it like glitches out anyway. So, ugh, it is, it's not a perfect system by any length of the imagination. Right, let's do that. Can we pick this up now? Not going to let us pick it up now, is it? Nope. Nope. It's not going to let us pick this up. So my plan, my ace in the hole, is not going to work. Alright, fair enough. So we're going to have to get our torch out and push this stuff back. Now, if you miss any of... There we go. Prime example. If you miss any of this stuff, it will come back and bite you in the ass. So, what I'm trying to say, basically, even though I've already played through this game, I still don't really know how this stuff works. It kind of just does whatever the fucking hell it wants to do. There will always be like a pixel of it left over behind you. Um, and you just have to get lucky. The only real way is just to crane your head down. Oh, well, that didn't work. Why did we die? We didn't get absorbed into it. Why did we... Yeah, that happens sometimes. You just die. And every time we walk up to this, we're going to have to see this scene. This game absolutely loves unskippable cutscenes. And it loves putting them in places where you can just die quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's just a thing you have to get used to. Right. So, use the flashlight in the first person view, which is what we're doing to push this stuff back. This is what we're doing. But you can see, you can see that little bit of it was left over there. So if we'd walked into that, we would have died. Or if we didn't notice it, because the game was too dark, we would have died. Now, this is the most basic and easy form of this stuff. Uh, wait until we have puddles of it that we have to walk through. Yeah. Yeah. Or if your torch starts dying halfway through. Yeah, you're fucked. Which, interestingly enough, like I said, that's not a problem for the PlayStation version. Now, the Xbox 360 was supposed to get all of the perks and upgrades from the PS4. Three version, but it just didn't never happened, uh, including the Im apparently improved driving mechanics, uh, the improved camera control, and just uh, a whole host of extra little things like batteries, for instance. Batteries aren't even a thing, so they don't take up space in your inventory. Uh, you know, it's it's it, it's very strange that the PS3 version of the game is actually quite different to the 360 version. I mean, it's the same game, it's just the mechanics are switched out quite a bit. Okay, so, let's go. Now, this is a bit more of an awkward area as well, because we've got more of that, uh, that creep stuff. But, if we die here, and our torch is dead... If we die here, um, you can see, you can't quite get all of this stuff, right? So if you leave any of this behind you, as the torch fades, as you start walking up, it creeps up behind you, and it will kill you. So, we're going to try and be a little bit smarter. Right, so there's still little bits that we can use. So we're going to use... Ah, come on. There we go. It's harder than you would think to set these things on fire sometimes. There we go. So we're going to use this. Because this is way better 
believe it or not, than using a torch because this shines all around you. Alright, and we can drop this, like so, and it will still burn and protect us. Even if it does burn our arsehole as we go past. Right. Hey! W what are you doing down here? Uh. Hey, man. You happen to see my partners? Yes. We were we were I saw your partner. Jesus. He disappeared. Now, one thing I will say, as long as you're not under attack whilst you pull your inventory up, this does actually pause the game. It didn't used to, but that is one of the uh, patches that they added into the game. Um, so as long as you don't have a projectile coming at you as you look down, it doesn't sound like the game world's paused, but as far as I can tell, it is. Uh, this easy ability to select what you want without having to use this awful analog system was also added in in a patch can't believe they didn't think to do that but hey there you go i can't believe they thought using an analog stick to try and accurately select something whilst you're being attacked was a good idea but there there we go all right buddy i saw your friends they disappeared into this black creep stuff it was Terrible. Uh, you hear that? I do. Oh, shit, no. Not again. Hmm. Ugly little blood sucking bastards, aren't they? Well, let's go use a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Now, this was quite an interesting little mechanic. Uh huh. <laughs> stink big time, huh? I guess so. Okay. I can't smell them. Find my partners. The park is right up there. All right. Good luck. All right. Cheers, buddy. Uh, don't walk into any black ooze if you see it. Now, if you think that's a cool mechanic, it kind of did pique my interest just a little bit. Yeah, we're never going to see that again, so don't worry. Okay. Oh. Sounds like our friend Dorino is just about to get butt fucked by something. Ah, God rest his bones. Anyway, we're finally out of that bloody place. We got another message as well. Who wants me now? Uh oh, Crowley. What are you sending me? Except from French military archives, August 1942. On the 20th of August, the 23 monks of St. Paul's uh, Monastery were found dead in their beds. An SS squad located next to the monastery had orders to recover an ancient stone supposedly hidden from the monastery. The entire squad was lost in the operation. Strangely, one resident of the monastery was unaccounted for and presumed dead. An American who had lived with the monks for over a decade, lacking evidence to the contrary, the disappearance was written off as a collateral damage and the case closed. Was that you, Crowley? Or was that us? Who knows? So here we are in the big outside world. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, Central Park, it's actually a good size. And if you guess that it's full of, well, um, nothing you'd be right so all the time that i tried to explore and have a good look around this place uh yeah that there, mm, there's no point there's nothing here to look at um right so we can actually get in this car and see what's in the glove box hopefully there's gonna be something of use Ooh, never seen three items in a glove box before but all right we'll have them oh hello friend Come on then. Come on if you think you're hard enough, lad. Yeah. Yeah. Go home, pal. You're not ready. Alright, let's go get us a set of wheels. So we can move the F on. Um, let's check our map as well. Yeah, okay. Alright, definitely going to want a set of wheels. Reload. Fresh magazine in this puppy. Every time you reload, you want to pour... 
fuel will load with your gun, which probably not as smart as it sounds. Oh. Okay. Look at this little vehicle here. Ah, hello. Interesting. I forgot about this little vehicle. Mainly because it's, as far as I can remember, it's the only time you will actually ever see this vehicle. Not that it matters. I mean, ah, oh, shit, don't pour your fuel away, you utter fucking moron. That's something that you got. Ah, oh, we have an empty bottle now. Great. That's something you need to be careful of. Tipping all of your your precious burning liquids away. <sighs> right. Oh, let's go. Ooh, what's actually here? This looks promising. Always want to make sure you're topped up on useful things. Which, I mean, useful things is petrol, basically. Flammable liquids. Nothing else. Oh, and bullets. And sometimes batteries. I mean, batteries aren't super duper important all the time but they are handy when you need them okay so we've got 64 bullets there 88 bullets there and 88 bullets there also the way these bullets stack in packs of three uh doesn't really make sense the way the bullets total out which you'll kind of see later on sometimes you'll have like 116 bullets in a triple stack Sometimes it'll max out at 88. I, I, I don't know. I, don't ask me. I don't understand how the game works out um, uh, ammo, to be honest. Also, uh, these little fuel cans here. If we had a knife or a screwdriver, we can actually stab the fuel can and refill our empty bottles. In theory, it's a cool idea. In practice, it's utterly useless because knives are so rare. Uh, I think I found two of them in the entirety of, of my first playthrough. And screwdrivers, I think I saw once. Alright, this will do. But to be honest, like if you need more fuel, just drop something and pick up another bottle. Because here's the thing. Items and equipment in this game are not rare. They're really not rare. They're literally everywhere. Apart from like a couple of choice areas, but you know, it, it's never an issue. Oh, hello. Really, dude? You're just gonna throw that shit at me? Fucking dick. Now, fighting enemies is also a humongous, colossal waste of time. Think of Zelda. There's no point in fighting enemies unless you have to. Right, let's get the frick out of here. And you can also see performance driving around in this overworld type area. Ain't great, Chief. Oh, hello. Look at this little meathead that's just jumping out of... Oh, thanks, friend. You at... <laughs> the ragdolls are brilliant. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, all right, I'll, I'll give them that, that never gets old. But yeah, you can hear them like snarling at us and all that kind of stuff and they're probably getting quite angry. But I... Okay, maybe, maybe it's not paused when we're in that mode then. Maybe time just slows down. As you can see, we get quite a lot of time. All right, let's burn these freaks up anyway. Oh god, aiming with the control pad at three frames a second is not hard, not easy, I should say. That is something that I reference quite often. Yeah, you can see these enemies aren't really super aggressive like that. Come on. There you go, shoot them in the leg. I need to shoot this guy in the side. There we are. Their weak, their weak spots are actually not that hard to hit. In theory. But this game runs very, very, very poorly. Um, so that is going to be an issue. And you will die because of the frame rate as well. You absolutely will die because of the frame rate. But, you know, 
I guess that was kind of a thing back then. Um, oh, we've got a fire extinguisher. Oh no, this is a gas nozzle. Gas nozzles are cool. Like, we can set these on fire. And they are a flamethrower. An unlimited flamethrower. Which is always fun. I think there's only one point in the game where I actually used this. Uh, bye friend. Okay. Now getting the um, achievement for killing three enemies in one hit is probably going to be harder than I think. Alright, let's just take this out. Remember, you can't actually shoot. Yeah, that cleared the way. You can't actually shoot in first person, uh, third person mode. I guess we got the fuel tank. Yeah, close enough. Alright, cool. Now, what was the other achievement that I actually needed to get? Because there was two left. Kill three humans at once. That's the hard one. And the secret achievement. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, right. That car chase sequence in the beginning of the game that we've actually just technically done. Uh, you have to do that in first person mode. Yeah, that's as hard as you think. It's stupid. But <laughs> especially when your car's smoking and this is what you see. But uh, I, I will persevere and do it. Great. Fucking wonderful. Might want to get out of there, Chief. <sighs> okay, let's go get a proper car, shall we? One that could probably make the jump with some degree of uh, accuracy. Now, driving in this game is a total mixed bag of random luck. Sometimes you'll just be driving along flat pavement like this, and you'll bounce into space. Or go through the floor. Or get stuck in a tree you know you never know what's gonna happen it's part of the mystery of the game I suppose oh look that's lucky the keys actually in in the ignition there we've got a knife probably because the game is um, introducing us to knives but it's they're so incredibly pointless like the way the game sells it to you makes it sound like a really interesting feature that you're probably gonna have to use a lot it's not, like most of the mechanics in this game. And um, we've left our windshield behind. That's fine. We didn't need that anyway. Edward. Miss me. I told you you'd find us. Full name, please. Edward Carnby. Memory coming back? Yeah, something like that. Okay, have a seat and let me take a look while it searches. Christ. You can thank the lady. It was high time to fix this. Bad news is we ran out of painkillers an hour ago. Grit your teeth. Your friend told me about your amnesia. Post-traumatic stress can do that. Hardly <sighs> surprising. I don't think you'll be the only one trying to forget tonight. Hmm. I mean, the ground opens up and cuts us off from the rest of the city. Jesus. Well, there you go. Not my best work, but it'll last the night. Yeah, as long as we don't we go. do too much strenuous activities. What do you got? I have to pull the wrong file. Let me see. Professor Edward Carnby. Researcher. Paranormal investigator. Huh? It's on the case of Jeremy Hartwood's suicide at Tercito's Manor in... 1924. Disappeared under strange circumstances in 1938. What the fuck? Never mind. Here. Notable scars and marks. Large scar on the left side of the face. Hmm. You're kidding. I mean, you're like a hundred years old. Mm hmm. Hmm. Strange. That can't be right, can it? We are a hundred years old. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, to be fair, we're looking pretty good for a hundred year old. Pretty mobile, too. There must be some mistake. Waking up tonight was a fucking mistake. <laughs> Take 
Take it easy, Edward. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Well, for what it's worth, I'll send the files to your cell phone so you can, I don't know, whatever. Doc, we got another call. Look, we gotta go. You two coming? She is. I'm going to the museum. The hell I am. You think I'll be safe here? Fuck around or I'll shoot you myself. Mm -hmm. oh, you're a real sweetheart. Thanks, Doc. Stay safe. Well, I guess she's gonna tag along. Find some interesting things there. Oh, we actually can shoot her. Are you bad or what? Huh, I mean, well, she can take a bullet like a champ. Okay, so what have we got going on here? Not much so far. Oh shit, can we not get the... Hang on. Maybe that'll come in later. Okay. Shit, I can't remember. What chapter are we on? Episode 4. No, okay, I think we're okay for now. Ah, oh, this bit's a fucking ball ache, I tell you that. Right, what have we got going on? Hey, Doc. Oh, there's our file. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting. I think it... Now, I'm not big up on Alone in the Dark. I've only played the one previous game. Uh, the good one on the Dreamcast. Uh, but they don't actually mention that one here. So, we're an independent researcher. Graduated in chemistry, physics, and history of religions and arts private detective license specialized in unsolved affairs linked to paranormal phenomenon unsolved uh, solved suicide case of jeremy hartwood so i think this is referencing uh, older games rescued grace saunders from one-eyed jack's gangsters in the fortified mansion of hell's kitchen journeyed across eastern europe Europe and India where he brought several rare objects came back to the USA and left again last seen in Delhi where he disappeared under strange circ circumstances in 1938 we do find a little bit about that his body was not found mm-hmm okay right let's have a little look over here shall we are you coming Sarah yep yeah, she's coming she will sometimes just like disappear, uh, but she'll like reappear when you get to the area you need to go to. So it's all good. It's all grave, baby. Now, this fucking bit is... Oh, this bit sucks. Uh, and my cat's trying to come in. One second, guys. Back. Right. Oh, shit. Fuck. Let's get in the car. <clears throat> Turn the key. And hit the freaking gas. Now these guys, if you stop for a second, will pull you up into the sky and instantly kill you. Now, also, if you accidentally hit something, you'll fall and die instantly, which is sucks. There's, uh, you can see they're pulling the car up already. Now it says drive at high speed or violently hit obstacles to get rid of creatures. Now, yeah, we've already fucked this up pretty bad. Now. Here's the thing. If you violently hit obstacles, you'll die. You will actually just straight up die, and it will be game over. So, you want to be as careful as you possibly can here. Which, yeah, that's way harder than you'd actually think. Now, all these explosions that you can see going on all over the car. That's them... Oh. Nope, we're not actually dead. That's them being knocked off because of the speed. You can get ahead of the crowd by just putting your foot down, but it's, yeah, it, it's not an exact science, shall we say. Now, the only area that I've found that you can actually go at full speed to actually knock these guys off is this area here. And, well, that happened. 
because they put as many irritating obstacles in your way as they possibly can because why not right uh, okay now this took me so many freaking attempts to actually complete yeah well if we don't actually you know lead foot it Sarah we're gonna die anyway you don't want to die well that's unfortunate because you're gonna die I'm gonna die you're gonna die we're all gonna die it's just a matter of when oh fuck my ass and call me Charlie Jesus Christ see that shit just keep going just keep going and you can see this isn't easy because of all of the physics I say physics loosely it sure as shit is not real world physics oh no Thanks for totally spinning the car out. We're probably dead now. Nope, we're still going. We're still good. We're still good. We need to really put our foot down. Oh, we actually made it, I think. <sighs> yeah, we made it. First time. Happy with that. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that bit is just horrendous. Once you know what you're doing and you kind of understand how awful the physics are in this game, it's not so bad. Now, this is where most of those bastards are coming from. Oh boy, so here we are. Right. Now, you could always kind of tell what you're supposed to be doing by what's scattered around in the environment, which is usually explosive bottles. You know, it's always fairly obvious what you're supposed to be doing. So, I don't know why the can disappeared out of our hand there. It does happen. Uh, good, we're all fully healed. So, what do we have to do here? I hear you asking. Well... This is how we defeat bosses, guys. See that big fleshy bit in the middle there? Huh. I mean, to be fair, this is how we solve all of our problems in this game. Pick up big explodey bottles and throw them. Throw them like you've never thrown them before. Yeah, it does get a little bit salty after you get a shot in. But that's okay. We're not going to worry about it getting salty because soon it's going to be deep fried get fucked yeah gotta gotta really use that quick turn here <clears throat> okay cool uh, give me another bottle yeah don't worry Sarah you just you just stay there alright I've got this Can we get the gun back out please thank alright now oh yeah I can't remember how many hits this takes. Like most bosses, it's not many. I'm sorry, did you think this game was going to be difficult or a challenge? It's, uh, it's not. Not at all. Mainly because if you get stuck somewhere, you throw bombs at things until they die. That's how this game works. It's not complicated. Okay, let's see if number four is all that's needed. I do like the fact that this place is getting visibly fucked up as we go through. Oh, he's bleeding. He's bleeding like a bitch, too. There we go. Boom! That's it. Yeah, that made a mess. Nice work. How'd you do this? Not sure. It's like some sort of buried instinct. It's primal. Something connected to your amnesia? It's not just that. Maybe Crowley's right. There's something inside me. Something dark and violent. I know I've done fucked up things in the past. I can feel it. Something to do with the stone. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing here. All I've got to go on is Paddington's word. And I don't even remember who the hell he is. Screw Crowley. And maybe you can't trust Paddington. Or even yourself. But you can trust me. And for what it's worth... I think you're doing the right thing. This path of light or whatever. We need to try and solve this mess. Let's hope you're right. 
Let's hope you're right. Yes, this, yes, yes. You're doing the right thing, and by the right thing so far, you're just killing uh, obstacles in our way. I mean, by that logic, sure, you probably are doing the right thing. I mean, it's better than just waiting to die. Okay. So, now we should head for the museum. yeah, 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 we're going to the damn museum. We are going to the museum. Don't you worry your pretty little head around about that. So, uh, let's get rid of... We've got a 35 and a 64. Let's get rid of the 35. Pick up another bottle. Yeah, so, <clears throat> bloody good thing all these explosive and uh, volatile containers just happen to be around here. I'm very happy that that's a thing. <clears throat> oh, we're actually on 35 bloody minutes. Holy fucking shit, guys. Right, we're going to end it here. So, thank you very much for watching. When we return, I guess we're going to go to the museum for science or maybe history or something. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.